Ugh, headmistress. <laughs> Dora, don't you pay any attention to what's been happening out there? The rise of the Titan of Time? The siege of Olympus? Nope, can't say any of that rings a bell. Olympus, that's where the family members you don't like live, right? And the Titan of Time, I get that he's bad, but he's never done anything to me personally, as far as I know, so... This entire encampment exists to resist his efforts to overthrow the gods and rule the world? Well then, maybe I should thank him, because I happen to like this encampment. Oh, shush. Oh. oh, you don't need to get this kind of stuff from me. I can just take whatever stuff of yours I want when you're out. Well, you can't take this while I'm out. I keep it on me at all times, for just such an occasion. May moonlight guide us. Terror engulf us! Approach. Headmistress, if I may, what is it that you and Master Odysseus are planning? He's always with his charts and diagrams. Odysseus considers our plan of attack, yours more specifically. He plots a course from the nearest underworld entrance to Olympus. The surface? I'm to attack Olympus? When? How? Attack, defend, tis all the same. Patience, Illinois. As you observed, we are still working through some of the details. Let Nemesis go. We bid you welcome to the vanguard of the underworld. You have grown quick, young one. Real quick. Would that I too could dash so fast as to become untouchable or sprint as fleetly as a she-wolf or something. Give me a couple of laps. deeper than it looks. I'll make this count. Death to Kronos. So it was Artemis who sniffed you out, was it? Seems like an awful big coincidence. But then with gods, these things, they happen all the time. I'll say I'm glad she found you when she did. Flame of the Hearth. For the cauldron.